French army is fighting in Ukraine, shocking claim. France has sent soldiers from its foreign legion to Ukraine. Stephen Bryan, former assistant to the US defense minister, wrote about this in his article in the Asia Times media outlet. He said that this military group has started fighting in Donbas. France has sent its first troops officially to Ukraine. They have been deployed in support of the Ukrainian 54th Independent Mechanized Brigade in Slavyansk. The French soldiers are drawn from France's 3rd Infantry Regiment, which is one of the main elements of France's Foreign Legion, the Asia Times says. The initial group of French troops numbers around 100. This is just the first tranche of around 1,500 French Foreign Legion soldiers scheduled to arrive in Ukraine. These troops are being posted directly in a hot combat area and are intended to help the Ukrainians resist Russian advances in Donbass. The first 100 are artillery and surveillance specialists. Brian emphasized that Moscow will not accept the increase in the number of foreign soldiers in Ukraine and will deal a heavy blow. For months, French President Emmanuel Macron has been threatening to send French troops to Ukraine. He has found little or no support from NATO countries outside of support from Poland and the Baltic states. The decision to send foreign legionnaires is itself a peculiar French compromise. France is not deploying its home army and, besides the small number of officers, the men sent are not French citizens. Earlier, Russia's foreign intelligence top brass said any French military unit sent to Ukraine to help it fight Russia would be a priority target for the Russian army. Sergei Narishkin warned France after the Kremlin received information that Paris is preparing to dispatch a contingent of 2,000 troops to Ukraine to fight against Russia. The French contingent will become a priority and legitimate target for attacks by the Russian armed forces. This means that the fate of all Frenchmen who have ever come to the territory of the Russian world with a sword would await it, Narishkin said. The current leadership of France does not care about the deaths of ordinary French people or about the concerns of the generals, he added. Мы сейчас на крыше стоим. Собаки лают, нервничают. Тут вроде бы белый дым начинается уже. Но он был чуть-чуть вот здесь левее. Сейчас уходит, как все всегда. Но здесь тоже не дотушили, он опять черная разгорается. Но горит страшно.